Hi, my name is Jerry. I use the pronouns he or him, they or them, and recently I just started using the pronoun per, which is short for person and perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mindfulness Meditation. So I'm going to be leading some breathing exercises that I would love for you to join me on. First, you're going to need to find somewhere nice and comfortable and clean, of course, to lay down flat on your back. And I invite you to find that spot, get comfy, and close your eyes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to read out specific body parts that I want you to squeeze tightly, 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 and then release and take deep breaths as you do it. For taking a deep breath, I want you to imagine um, blowing into a straw when you're exhaling. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and we're going to exhale blowing through a straw out of our mouth. Let's try that together. We'll breathe in and out. In and out. Perfect. I'm going to invite you to now keep your eyes closed and on the count of three, you're going to tighten all the muscles in your toes and your feet on three. One, two, three. And squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. In and out. Perfect. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, and our ankles on three. One, two, three, and squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in. Breathe in and out. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins, and our calves on three. One, two, three. And squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins, our calves, and our legs. So everything below the waist on three. One, two, three. Squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Oh, good job, everyone. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins, our calves, our legs, our torso, our abdomen, and our chest. So everything in the middle section of our body down to our very tippy toes on three. One, two, three. Squeeze and tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins, our calves, our legs, our torso, our abdomen, our chest, and our biceps on three. One, two, three. And squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Next, we're going to do our toes, our feet, our ankles, our shins, our calves, our legs, our torso, our abdomen, our chest, our biceps, our forearms, and our hands. <laughs> and fingers. Let's add fingers to that. Okay? Um, on three. One, two, three. And squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Good job. And I hope that you can really feel the blood just rushing back into each of those areas that you just finished squeezing and releasing. Lastly, we're going to go above our neck. We're going to do our neck and our face 
On three, we're going to squeeze our faces as tight as we can, scrunch our eyes up, scrunch our mouth and our nose up, and we're going to make our face really tiny. On three, one, two, three, and squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. In and out. And one more time, we're going to do our face. But after we tighten everything, I want you to open up and make everything big. Open up your mouth. Open up your nostrils. Open up your eyes. Okay? But first, we're going to squeeze them first. Okay? On three. One, two, three. And squeeze tight, 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 tight. Now open, 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 open. Large. Big, 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 big. And release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. So uh, before I begin today's exercises, I'd like to invite you to um, send me an email if you have any ideas for visualization exercises or meditation that we can all do that I can share with everyone. Um, I would really appreciate it. Uh, this I'm going to go through some of the exercises that I've learned, but I would really love to learn from you and um, learn more. Hi, thank you so much for joining me again. Um, this series of mindfulness meditation is a little different than the other ones we've presented before. In the past, we were able to do some visualizations on taming your troll, on visiting your ancient and future guide, which is just another way of looking into yourself to see what the past and the future is really telling you. There's visualizations we did on positive learning and divine energy flow. And I invite you, if you haven't had a chance to take a look, to go through all those visualizations and practice them and make them your own. Uh, you can feel free to change up the stretching exercises or modify it the way that your family likes to do it. You can do the visualizations alone or one-on-one -on -one or in a group with more friends and more family members, it's all up to you. Today, I introduce to you a different kind of visualization exercises. Now that we've uh, stretched all the different parts of our body from our head and our face to our neck, our chest, our abdomen, our waist, our hips, our legs, our calves, our knees, our feet, our ankles, our toes, our arms, our biceps, our forearms, our fingers, our wrists, and we've stretched them all and we've waken them up, I'm going to invite you to now join us in a different set of visualizations. Uh, visualizations that's much more common and a little different from the ones that we've been doing before. In fact, these visualizations are more um, easily done at home with any book that you have and any story that you have to share. After stretching now and doing all those warm-up exercises, I invite you to find a nice comfortable spot to lie down. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. I want you to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more time, I want you to breathe deeply, knowing that you are enough. Exhale, feeling grounded to the earth. And I want you to take that feeling with you and enjoy our upcoming journeys with this new technique in visualization. This new technique I'm about to share with you is very simple. Between the stretching exercises, after the warm up and before the cool down, we're gonna encourage children and families now to close your eyes and just listen to a story. Granted, these stories are stories that you might have heard before, especially if you've been tuning in to our early on channel on YouTube and if you've been watching us on our virtual programming. However, I invite you to take on these same stories that you've heard before and think about them in a new way. 
And that can be what a visualization is. I want you to find somewhere comfortable. I want you to lay down, stay laying down. I want you to focus on your breathing, still breathing deeply. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to close your eyes and enjoy the stories that we have to tell you. I want you to imagine different faces for the characters. I want you to imagine things that the illustrator could have drawn or the author could have seen. I want you to imagine being in the story, being part of the adventures that happen. I want you to imagine what's happening inside the story happening to you. So with that in mind, we're going to go to the storytelling part of our visualization. And then we're going to go to our cool down exercises. I hope you enjoy these next sets of visualization. And if you have any idea of visualization exercises or meditation practices, please don't be shy. Email them to me at jlee at the 519.org. That's jlee at the 519.org. Don't be shy. I look forward to hearing from you and your ideas will help us make more videos for our virtual programming and to make our virtual programming even more fun and more exciting for all of you. Keep your eyes closed, breathe deeply, and enjoy the story. They, she, he, me. Free to be by Matthew and Maya. They, she, he, me. Free to be by Matthew and Maya. For Zai and Sky, may you always be free from Matthew and Maya. Reflection Press, San Francisco, California. Free to be. Me, he, she, they. Free to be. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Pronouns. When you were born, you were probably given a name and a pronoun, probably he or she. As you get older and know yourself more and more on the inside, some of the ideas of she and he may fit you. 
and some of them may not. Ideas about he and she are very strong right now. Many people believe he means only certain things and she means only certain things. These ideas affect what people think about everything. How you dress, how you wear your hair, or how you express the spirit of who you are, or even what colors you like. People can think they know what your pronoun is based on their ideas about he and she. This is a way of only looking at the outside of a person and not the inside of a person. On the inside, you may not feel like a he or she at all. Maybe they feel the most free. Or you may feel like both he and she. But mostly, you probably just feel like yourself. This inside part is the most important part because there's no one else like you in the world. This is why everyone should be free to be exactly who they are on the inside. Who you are is not always something you can put into words or explain. You just know who you are because you are. Pronouns can be a way to share how you feel on the inside. Because this inside part is the most important part of you, it cannot be about outside ideas of how people think he or she is supposed to act. It is about how you feel. The truth is, ideas about he and she change all the time. If they don't fit, you might be an important part of changing them. there is only one you. Only you can know you. That means that there's never a right or wrong way to be you. Only your way. This is also why only you can know what pronouns to express in the spirit of who you are inside. And why being free to claim the pronoun or pronouns that feel right to you is important. You know what feels right to you both inside and outside. You can even have an inside pronoun and an outside pronoun, creating pronouns. Not only can he and she mean more than what people think, there are also more pronouns than just he and she. You are not alone if he and she don't fit. Many people have played with pronouns and still do because of how they feel on the inside. Here are some ideas. You can use your own name as a pronoun. You can change pronouns from he to she or from she to he. You can use new ones like Z or create your own like tree. Some people use they, which is a perfect way. There are many more pronouns waiting to be discovered and used. People are creating new pronouns all the time. Using pronouns. To begin creating room for everyone, including yourself, there are ways to use pronouns that make room for more than just he and she. When you first meet someone, tell them your name and you can ask theirs. You don't have to know more than that to play. If you hear a pronoun from a person, great. You can use that pronoun. If you don't hear a pronoun from that person and need to use one, you can use they and keep playing. And maybe they is what they love to be called anyway. What about you? Do you like to be called they too? You could share your pronoun by saying it plain and simple if you want, or you can just stick with your name. Do what feels right to you. Doing things like this lets people know that you have bigger ideas about he and she, and that you know that there are more than two pronouns and ways of being yourself in the world. This helps everyone feel freer and more welcome to play. Playing with pronouns. If you want to keep playing with as many people as possible and keep making room for yourself, keep playing with pronouns. You can practice seeing more of the inside of people and not just the outside of people. Use your imagination to play with how characters in boob movies and books might feel on the inside. Begin by using they for different characters or change the main character from a he to a she or from a she to a he. You don't even have to change their name, just their pronoun. Playing like this gives you bigger ideas about how people feel on the inside, including you. Keep claiming, keep playing, keep knowing yourself inside and outside. You rock! By Matthew and Maya.
Now that we're back, I would like to conclude this visualization with um, a cool down exercise. So get back flat on your back again, lie back down on the floor again, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did um, in our warm up exercises with all the same muscles, but we're gonna go backwards. So we're gonna start with the face and the neck. And on three, we're gonna squeeze them as tightly as we can, and then we're gonna open them as widely as possible. One, two, three, squeeze, tight, 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 and open, 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 big, open, and release. Breathe in and out. Next, we're gonna do our neck, our fingers, our hands, and our forearms. On three, one, two, three, squeeze, tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Next, our fingers, our hands, our forearms, our biceps. On three, one, two, three, and squeeze, tight, 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 and release. Breathe in. Breathe in and out. Next, we're gonna do our fingers, our hands, our forearms, our biceps, our chest, our abdomens, and our torso on three. One, two, three, and squeeze tight, 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 and release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And lastly, we're gonna include the whole bottom half. We're gonna do um, everything below the waist, our legs, our calves, our shins, our ankles, our feet, and our toes, along with our chest, our bicep, our torso, our forearms, our hands, and our fingers. On three. One, two, three. And squeeze. Tight, 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 tight. And release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Perfect. Once again, if you think of any other visualization exercises or things that we can do during these mindfulness meditation circles, I would love to learn about them all. You can email me at jlee at the 519.org. That's jlee at the 519.org. And I hope that you had a lot of fun with the visualization today, and I hope that I'll see you soon. Goodbye.